Okay. Um, thought big story on the game today was you know both pitchers you know were really good, really good, and weren't too many opportunities. Um, and I think big thing for us was even when we weren't getting runs and weren't getting a whole lot in terms of base runners and things to show for it, our bats were very, very competitive. And he was not getting us down easy. And he's got the stuff to do that if you kind of give up a little bit as a hitter. Uh, but we battled. And we got to two strikes. And a lot of guys were fouling balls off. And just ever so slightly building up that pitch count a little bit to where finally, you know, we'd seen him enough. Guys had seen enough pitches. And um, things started to go away a little bit in that last inning. Frank, where is this from? Uh, rank as far as moments in your career, how are you able to be so dominant today? Um, it's pretty high up there. So, um, as far as throwing well, it's just doing what's making me successful all year. Throwing strikes, getting ahead, making some pitches, letting the defense work. That's all I can really worry about. So. How big did the loss to them in Florida mean today? Is that great? Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't play in. It really doesn't. I think what it did is it, it, it makes you realize that, you know, because the game was very close and we certainly had a chance to win the game. And we play them every year on our spring trip typically and a lot of the games have been very close one way or the other. So we knew going in that, you know, it wasn't certainly wasn't going to be easy. And we weren't playing a team that we were, you know, quote unquote, better than physically or anything like that. But we knew it was going to be a good baseball game. and whoever played better today was going to have a great chance to win. Um, and so it wasn't, there was no, you know, there was you know, no fear of the unknown, I guess. You know, played them, we know they're very good, we know we're pretty good, and we'll see what happens. Is there kind of a sense of relief uh, having that big ninth inning after the failing of the squeeze and kind of missing some early opportunities? Um, a little bit, you know. Um, certainly a 6-1 to one lead is better than a 2-1 to one lead, right? And... Um, so, you know, again, it just goes to the guys in our lineup, you know, continuing to grind. And then finally, things broke a little bit for us, and some balls went our way, some bounces went our way, and some things happened. And um, we spread the lead out a little bit. It's never too late to keep adding on some runs against a great team. Dan, talk about the experience here at the College World Series a little bit. Uh, well, one of the reasons why I went to Wheaton College is to have this opportunity. And now we're here. I'm here as a senior. It's a uh, chance of a lifetime. <laughs> Been waiting for a you know a national championship all, all my life. So um, we have a great team to do it. And uh, I think you know if we just keep on playing our our tight baseball, we have a good chance. Um, coach, talk. You said earlier that um, your second pitcher may have been the best pitcher in your squad. Um, talk about your confidence giving the ball to Holbrook. Well, I think what I said was that, you know, there's really no separation between the two. I'm not going to call one or the other better or anything like that. So there's no separation between the two. You feel very comfortable with either one. It's called like a 1A, 1B kind of thing. Um, we're very confident in all of our pitchers. You know, I mean, everyone has done a very good job. Frank has been outstanding for us all year. He pitched today like he has many times this year. Know, and just the stage is a little bit bigger. Uh, Alec has pitched very well for us all year, uh, and he did so in game one. Um, Nolan, and I can go on and on through the bullpen and some of the other, you know, we've gotten quality years and continued improvement from all of our pitchers, and it's been a big part of our team. Um, you know, pitching, defense, and a one through nine approach to the order of, you know, working hard through our at-bats, creating opportunities, advancing base runners, executing, and trying to cash in. Dan, I know it kind of goes overlooked, but uh, you take it to that play at a sacrifice in the ninth, you know, kind of giving yourself up to keep that rally going. Uh, well, I mean, any player in our lineup can bunt, that's that's for sure. Um, you practice it day in and day out, and that's, uh, that's what wins baseball games. You know, if you just move the guy along, you know, one guy does his job, the next guy does his job, and... Uh, I feel like we all do that one through nine in our lineup, and when it's my opportunity to get a bunt down, I get it down, and it's just how we play baseball and how we win.
Thank you, gentlemen.